Hello everybody and welcome to episode 16. So my name's Richard Ishwood. I'm a registered nurse working at my clinic called No More Earwax in the UK. There it is. So this gentleman came to see me last week and it's fair to say his ears were absolutely chock-a-block. Um, he'd really been struggling. You've seen both there, the left there and the right there. Now this type of wax is probably my least favourite type of wax ever to remove because I've been using ear drops for quite a long time on and off for a matter of weeks and what can tend to happen is can tend to turn it really sludgy and mushy. It's um, kind of like mashed potato. I know in medicine you'll see a lot of people or hear a lot of people that describe these things in food analogies um, and you say why, why do you always compare things to food um, I mean it's, it's easily identifiable and people can recognize something they'll describe the size of things like uh, it's the size of a grapefruit it's an orange it's a plum it's some melons um, so yeah it, it tends to help people understand what it is that you're talking about so what we've done here in the left hand side to start we've gone in with the standard size zolma suction tube that's the larger of the two that we use and a little bit more powerful and you can see what we're already doing there is peeling it away from the base of the canal um in an ideal world probably should have put a little bit of olive oil in first clearly i like giving myself a bit of a challenge but secondly i actually ran out of olive oil um um, that's coming next week hopefully but yeah in the end it did come out but yeah it definitely would have been a little bit easier because it, it lubricates the side of the ear canal and it also um, tends to bind it all together um, so yeah I've lifted that bit up from the bottom now what I'm trying to do there is grab a little bit from the side and trying to pull it across with one like this it seems like every time you stick the tube on it a little bit just like slurps up the tube and it's kind of hard to get it to stay in one piece so at the moment just trying to gently touch the sides there and obviously work your way down hopefully through to the eardrum because uh, the, 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 the first and foremost priority in any earwax removal procedure is not to clear away every single last bit it's to tunnel your way through to the eardrum so the patient's symptoms are relieved and obviously the symptoms are not being able to hear very well at all which was certainly the case with this gentleman um, so yeah, I've already wrapped it up from the, from the bottom there, peeled away a little bit from there. I grabbed a little bit from the top as well, kind of rolled that down and hopefully an idea will be trying to like roll it up into a perfectly formed parcel to peel away the skin from the sides. And then when you can grab it, it can uh, bring away the whole bit. But with this consistency, that's really, really difficult, especially on, on, on the outer aspect. And you go a bit deeper down, it tends to be a bit firmer, a bit more bound together, but this stuff is just sludgy and mushy. And like I said, mashed potato. Um, hopefully I've not put anybody off the tea there. I actually had bangers and mash for tea myself last night. It's a favourite in our house. Um, but yeah, obviously you can see how dark this is as well. Now that's obviously an indication of how long it's been in there. The longer things are in there, the darker they tend to get. Um, same theory as say when you cut yourself, just get a little scab on yourself. The longer it's there, darker it goes. These things age and die, and it's to do with the oxygen in it. Um, but yeah, getting a bit of a wriggle there, you can see the whole thing moving together. But I think at this point, I think while I'm trying to lift it up there from the base and keep it all together, I think the tube probably blocks a little bit, which it does tend to do with these types yeah there we go i've gone off to rinse it a little bit just run some water through it uh, cleans out the tube um now i think we're down to the crux of the matter here now it's, it's a little bit difficult to see sometimes when you have, obviously have a look, quite a lot of hairs in the ear canal this isn't a, isn't an excessive amount somewhere like jungles um but yeah it can make it a little bit trickier to see but i think we're just about to move this off from the left hand side there and you can kind of see the whole thing moving and wait till you see this come out it's an absolute perla for those of you watching in the us perla nice one it's a good one like i said in other videos belter bobby dazzlers a beauty but this certainly was a beauty look at that nice juicy big humongous chunk 
and there's the odor after that lovely and clear obviously symptoms are relieved straight away yeah lovely so this was the right one and i'll be honest a bit more challenging this one reason being is it i kind of didn't stay together um in one piece it came away in bits which like i said before it can tend to do when you get this kind of type of mushy mashed potato sludgy stuff um but i'm trying I'm trying to slowly peel it away there and you can see the layer of skin from underneath there it's coming away uh, nicely but yeah and you'll see at the end we don't get every little last speck and some of you be screaming and shouting at the screen why didn't you get that bit why didn't you get that bit it's really not important. The important thing is to clear the blockage. Any little bits after that are a bonus. Not going to make a huge amount of difference. And you've got to, you've got to obviously be aware of your own limitations as well. Um, it can be quite tiring when you're doing these long ones. Your arms can get a bit achy. And you have to be aware of safety. It's risk fee benefit. And if you think something's a bit too risky, what benefit are they going to get from it? If it's very little, then why risk it? So you can see we're just trying to grab that bit from the side there and peel that one inwards a little bit and hopefully as with the other one you know wrap it in a little ball out it all comes in one go and all people ask me so how how can i clean my ears now the ears clean themselves um evolution's taught us that the dead skin that sheds and this oily substance it works its way out from into out it does it naturally the ear will do it for you and collect all that dust debris and skin what have you and it will take it out sometimes that doesn't happen quite as well as it should do for various reasons um so unless it's causing you a huge problem just leave your ears alone you know see a lot of people constantly putting earbuds in or q-tips as they know um in the states it doesn't work it makes my life more difficult uh, it's difficult enough but uh, we don't we don't need those as well so what can help sometimes is is uh, medical grade olive oil it's good in the spray because when you put the spray on um what can it, the, the the cone the, the spray nozzle is designed that it comes out in like a hollow cone shape so it just lines all the skin uh it makes it more lubricated and it makes it less likely that something's gonna gonna stick to it so it kind of speeds up that whole into out process so yeah i'd advise using that i use one like this can it hopefully get one to pop up don't know if it's going to be there or there but yeah available from all good pharmacists i'm not sponsored by this it's just one that i use look at that another humongous plug so yeah like i said that one's kind of come away in bits rather than one big piece like the other one um but obviously we need to get in there and get as much as we can so obviously we can see the eardrum very well which we can't at the moment so as it's a bit deeper and you've got a few smaller bits here i've gone in with a fine end tube now what that is it's a little attachment that you pop on the end of the standard size tube um gives you better visibility as you can see it looks a lot smaller it'll still look big on these things but in reality it's absolutely tiny um but it's good at getting these little bits away and peeling them away from the edges and it, it's quieter you get slightly less power with it because it's smaller but you can begin to already see the eardrum in the distance there and like i said before spoiler alert we do not get every little last speck here because uh, i think by the end of the procedure or nearing the end of it anyway the patient have probably had enough i know i was getting a bit tired as well this is obviously highly edited or what you're seeing here there's a lot of nipping away cleaning the tubes cleaning the camera and what have you but it was definitely worth getting this bit here you have a you have a little bend just before the eardrum and sometimes a lot of stuff can sit inside that so that one looks uh, and again you can still see it's covering a little part of the eardrum there so we need to get that out so again just gone deep down with the fine end there grab that and bring it out like i said still does look a little bit of a mess in there but we've cleared the blockage we've taken out the main main offending item which was the huge big plug of wax that was there and the gentleman could hear better straight away so like i said all these other little bits a bit of a bonus um so yeah you're going to see some before and after shots in a minute there you go look at that no expense spare today two befores two afters so yeah there they are so thanks for watching 
Any likes, follow, subscribe, really appreciate. I'll stay tuned and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.